follow me because this is your backstage pass. Mackenzie Falls has nothing on the real teen drama that went on behind the scenes of Sunny with a Chance. Demi Lovato was only a teen when she started the hit sketch show. The pressure of being overworked and in front of the camera pushed her to seek treatment for her mental health, but Demi wasn't the only one unhappy. Another cast member quit Hollywood for good after the series wrapped. Plus, we'll discuss the constant name changes, canceled spin-offs, and almost made fourth season that had this Disney Channel show drenched in drama from the start. That's what I thought that there was something wrong with me. Little did I know that there was a chemical imbalance in my brain. On April 25th, Demi and almost the entire cast of Sunny with a Chance opened up about their experience working on the Disney Channel comedy during a virtual reunion. While Sunny might have given us plenty of reasons to laugh, life behind the scenes wasn't nearly so fun. Demi announced that she'd be leaving the show in 2011 after its second season. I am not ashamed and I have nothing to hide. That's my girl. She was just 18 and recently completed treatment for physical and emotional issues, according to the official statement. I was dealing with bipolar depression and it was very severe and I didn't know what was wrong with me. But wanting to be away from the cameras went a lot deeper than that. At the time, she told People magazine, being in front of the camera would make me nervous. Sunny definitely wasn't the start of Demi's issues with mental health, but she does think the show contributed to a steady decline that left her needing space away from the spotlight, which is hard to find when you're a woman on TV. During the reunion, Demi opened up to Tiffany Thornton, who played the glamorous Tawny, about her inspiration to come back to show business. You were my biggest inspiration coming out of it because you dealt with all of those pressures of being a woman on TV. Young Demi sometimes hated what life was like on the set of a hit TV show. I was so miserable and like angry too because I felt like I was being overworked, which I was. At the time of production, she wouldn't even have a lunch break to herself. Instead, they'd be filled with meetings. At night, she'd write song after song and work on upcoming projects and then be so nervous for the next day, she'd barely sleep. Disney liked to keep it under wraps just how hard their young stars would work. Therefore, I ended up self-medicating and coping with very unhealthy behaviors. But Demi also had some wise words for anyone just starting out in show business. Looking towards the future because that's what I do. When I'm struggling or when I'm going through a rough time, I look towards the future for hope. Demi's dressing room on the sunny set used to be freezing cold, and it had everything to do with the eating disorder she was dealing with during filming. While many seemed to know about her struggles with food at the time, Demi didn't get much help until she finally went away for treatment. During filming, her negative feelings towards her body just grew because she was trying on a new wardrobe all the time. Her and Tiffany both opened up about how picky they would get with their wardrobe and how judgmental they would be towards themselves every time they looked in a mirror. In the years since Sunny, Demi has been very vocal about the eating disorder she suffered as a child star, and a lot of her advocacy focuses on body positivity. I don't really deal with body shamers anymore because I don't look at it. It's pretty obvious that So Random was a quickly developed idea to continue the Sunny series with Demi's absence. But the truth behind the spinoff is actually pretty sad. So Random was created as an easy way for Disney to keep programming while also letting everyone in the show keep their jobs. Hey guys, Sterling Knight here. Uh, check me out on So Random on the Disney Channel. But its primary purpose was as a sort of break from the series that would hopefully pick up in just a year or two. The spinoff only lasted one season and didn't really address Sunny Monroe's exit from the cast because they were hoping Demi would come back and they would continue as usual. The show would have likely gotten a fourth season if she'd agreed to return, but by the time she was done with treatment, Demi wasn't interested in feeling overworked again. It's worth mentioning, though, that there were no hard feelings between the cast members after they split, but it definitely complicated things for the Disney Channel. There was a time where I, I really resented the people that bullied me in my life. Did you know that Tawny and Sunny are the only two characters from Sunny with a Chance who appear in every single episode? While a lot of people assumed there might be some female rivalry behind the scenes, Demi put that to rest in the reunion by talking about how much she admired her older co-star. She even served as a bridesmaid at her wedding and caught the bouquet. But being on Sunny came with a lot of pressure for Tiffany Thornton, too. She decided not to continue a career in acting and instead moved to Texas to start a family not long after the show wrapped. I still wake up every morning and pinch myself and can't believe that I do what I love to do for a living. Tiffany also mentioned Tawny's fave lip shade, Coco Moco Coco, during the reunion and dropped some major truth. The shade was never real and Tiffany actually hates brown lip colors. 
This one isn't so much a dark secret, but it definitely represents the darkest timeline. Did you know that we almost didn't get to see Sterling Knight as the one and only Chad Dylan Cooper? Sometimes, I heard, you get to have that perfect dance with that one special person. Sterling didn't even audition for the role of Chad, but instead for some character named Stuart. Stuart got cut, and Sterling eventually got put into the role of Chad, who was also supposed to have a love-hate relationship with Tawny, of all people. Thankfully, once the crew saw their chemistry and how good they were at being rivals, the relationship settled on mostly hate. While Chad Dylan Cooper might have radiated confidence, Sterling himself was dealing with some self-esteem issues during filming, like most of the young stars. Thankfully, he chose to stick with acting, though he did just narrowly miss out on getting his own Disney Channel show. It's exciting to be here. It's always nice to come back and, uh, and see everyone and, you know. Yep, that's right. Mackenzie Falls could have been its own spin-off teen drama at Disney, and we're crushed that we'll never get to see it. The show was based off Dawson's Creek, and the lead star's name poked some friendly fun at Chad Michael Murray. Just like So Random was meant to be kind of a Saturday Night Live for kids, Mackenzie Falls was so popular among fans that it very nearly made it into its own show, which might have been a huge hit on the Disney Channel. Still doing Mackenzie Falls, and you get to see Chad kind of let his guard down and be a ridiculous. Sadly, everything that had to do with Sunny got scrapped after So Random ended, so Mackenzie Falls will remain that cheesy teen drama that could have been. Speaking of alternate Sunny with a Chance timelines, there was originally supposed to be a love triangle between Sunny, Chad, and, get this, Nico. We can't imagine the pair being anything but friends. But the complicated on-screen relationships went away backstage, where all the castmates were actually pretty good friends. One hidden castmate was Ortho, a vampire puppet that they used to put in each other's dressing rooms as a prank. Once, Brandon Michael Smith, who plays Nico, tried to scare Tiffany backstage, and he got punched in the face for it. But hey, she warned him she didn't like being scared. I don't like being scared, and I come out like fighting. Like, I'm not a fan of that. Creators of Sunny with a Chance had a big identity crisis trying to come up with the show. The concept took a while to create. It's a show within a show, after all. So they had a lot of interesting naming ideas before the show finally kicked off. First, it was supposed to be called Sketchpad, which would have also been the new name for So Random. Two other names floated were Welcome to Mollywood and Welcome to Hollywood, because Sunny's name was supposed to be either Molly or Holly. The idea for Sunny actually kind of came out of nowhere. I'm Sunny, I'm new. <laughs> Obviously, otherwise you would have knocked. Finally, for the darkest what if. Did you know that Bridget Mendler was almost Sunny Monroe? The Good Luck Charlie star auditioned and almost got the part, but was just barely beat out by Demi. If she had gotten it, we wonder if she still would have starred in Good Luck Charlie. And what about Demi? It's hard to say if her future would be better or not without Sunny with a Chance. But the actress is thankful for the bond she built with her co-stars and for the experience that taught her to really listen to and take care of herself. And while we love Bridget, we can't imagine Sunny as anyone else. Do you wish we'd gotten a fourth season of Sunny with a Chance? Or what about a Mackenzie Falls spinoff? Let us know your favorite Sunny what ifs in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to The Things for more great videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.